It's about 5.30 in the morning right now. It's hitting the board. Of course, one of the best things you can do to start your day off is a reflection of gratitude. Right? Being grateful for what you have, being grateful for the experiences you've come across, people. And one of those right now that really resonates with me this early in the morning are my parents. I've been very fortunate to have a loving family. I know that's not the case for everybody. And I pray that for those of you who may be in more difficult family situations, that at some point you find some resolve and some type of family outlet that you can be with. Because personally, I believe that relationships are the most important thing in life. It's we are social beings. We are communal beings. We need to be around each other. Even introverts at some point appreciate some level of human interaction. It can be exhausting. But at the end of the day, if you were to take every person off the planet Earth and only have one introvert, they would not be able to accomplish or live a life of I mean, really purpose. Because at the end of the day, we are living for each other and some sort of purpose that still serves society as a whole. So you navigate through this next year, really focus on the relationships you build with others because that connection, that human connection, that soul linkage, that's really what will help us each feel full. If we want to progress forward, if we want to progress further into our careers, if you want to make some sort of lasting impact, then finding ways to improve your interpersonal skills, your charisma, your ability to resolve deep conflictions with people, that is what's going to keep moving you forward and open up much more doors to you than you could imagine. So this morning, as I reflect on yesterday, hanging out with my wife, it's just been, it's been a good life to this point, purely based off of relationships. Not perfect, but it's good. I learned a lot from the people around me. I felt very happy, blissful. It's the relationships that I have in my life. If you're feeling some form of depression, anxiety, some of the best ways to cope with that is to have somebody around to talk with and understands that can empathize, possibly sympathize with what you're going through. That's the reason why we have therapists that have that job to help us better understand ourselves. Before you get to that boiling point of depression, anxiety, or you feel that way, just find ways to connect meaningfully with those around you. You're sitting at the dinner table, don't have your phone out. Your phone should not be out at dinner. Shouldn't even be on the table. Put it in your pocket. Only get to it if it is something absolutely cannot wait. Just sit, be present, and listen. Connect to those around you at the table. Just a few things, the simple things that will help you connect with people more. It's like being on your phone less when you're around them. I hope you all got something out of this. Uh, 
I know that one thing that many people struggle with right now are relationships. Especially in a digital age where our necks are glued at a 45 degree angle looking down at our phones. And hopefully I can keep this going and give people an insight into my life. So we got a lot more job to go. So it's time to learn something. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day.